Good afternoon. My name is Patricia Rogers Robinson. Today I'm going to inform you of some of the effects of being raised in a single parent household. Did you know that one in four children in the United States today is being raised in a single parent home? There are both negative and positive effects of being raised in a single parent home. Some of the effects would consist of academic challenges, economic struggles, and also the children being resentful. I myself am a product of being raised in the same household. As I was growing up, I felt very angry and I felt very resentful because I thought that my parents did not love me and I felt that it was my fault. But as I got older, I realized that it was not my fault, but it was just that my parents could not get along and so they decided to go their separate ways. Some of the main points that I will discuss today would be that there are academic challenges, there are struggles that we face due to economic challenges and also being resentful. I've spoken with teachers, students, parents, children, and even some law enforcement agents in regards to their views on the effect of them being raised in a single parent household. Some of the teachers that I spoke with stated that the children, some of them, that's being raised in a single parent household. They have struggles. A lot of times they're lashing out, they're reaching out, they're wanting help, they're wanting attention that they don't get at home. Some of the parents have felt that with them having their children in the household alone, that they have become very selfish because they are both mother and father to the children. And because of this, they feel that they don't have to necessarily um, share the children with the other parent. Not only do we need to raise our children together, and I'm sure that all of you have heard the cliche, it takes a village to raise children or a child. Not only does it take you as a parent, it also takes the teachers, the church leaders, the church members, community members, everyone all working together so that our children can become effective and productive citizens in society. As I was doing my research, not only did I speak with parents, teachers, students, I also got some information from various websites. Livestrong.com, Single Parent Advocate, those were two of the websites that I also used. There were also some statistics that I used as well. As I stated earlier that there's one in four children that's being raised in a single parent household. Also, 15 million American children are being raised without fathers, and there's another 5 million more that's being raised without mothers. I realized that when I started doing this research, that this was a very, very delicate topic. I also realized that there are struggles, both negative and positive. I also realize that we have to make sure that our children feel love and make sure that they feel that it's not their fault, even if the parents cannot get along. Also, there were some positive things that I, I realized after doing this research. Not only are there negative, but there are also some positive things. 
I just wanted to just um, share a few of the positive aspects of being raised in a single parent household. I have a nephew that's being raised in a single parent household. He is a senior in high school. He's doing very well academically and he's also doing well in sports. At this time, there are several different colleges that's looking to recruit him. And we have been very excited about the different games that he has played in. So again, he's one of the few that have, um, have made it. I also have a cousin that is now a major in the Army. He's looking to retire in a few years, and he works at the Pentagon. Also, um, I have a friend that is a police captain, and he was also raised in a parent household, a single parent household. In conclusion, I would just like to say being raised in a single parent household has both negative and positive effects. But what we have to do is we have to make sure that our children are loved and we have to make sure that our children understand that although they may be raised in a single parent household, that they too can make a difference and they can succeed in life. Thank you.